name to drop in the HQ universe. This is HQ Words Beta. Shout out to all of our family and friends playing today. We're live from New York City at HQ. That's right, the home of the best games at your fingertips. And it's Thanksgiving Eve. I can't wait for pumpkin pie. Are you excited for pumpkin pie? You solve word puzzles to win cash. You ever do the Sunday morning crossword puzzle? This is better than that because it's for real money, baby. I'm your host, Anna Roisman, and I gotta tell you, I love word puzzles. They're fun and they challenge the brain. Okay, self-proclaimed nerd here. Word nerd, actually. Are you with me? Come on, word nerds, you can be. Here's how this game works. I'm going to show you 10 puzzles. Use the keyboard to guess the blank letters any order. If you guess a letter wrong, you get one strike. If you get three strikes in a puzzle, you're in the game. You beat every puzzle with a piece of today's prize, which is $100. If you're one of the top three fastest solvers in today's game, you'll be getting more money than the rest. Okay, spin that my letter. Whatever it lands on is yours for the entire game. Also, I'm launching my next single, The Girl in the Wheel. The Girl in the Wheel. Do you like it? I'm just kidding. If a puzzle contains your letter, it will auto-reveal at the start of the round. For example, if you got an E and the puzzle is pie, your E will auto-reveal. I'm obsessed with pie and I can't stop thinking about it. It is time for your first puzzle. Remember, the faster you solve, the more money you could win. Be sure to take your time, but not too much time, and focus on the hint. It'll help you solve the puzzle. Your first hint is furniture. I'm gonna help you out on this one. Type in E-B-L. Did it click yet? Remember, you have 25 seconds to solve each puzzle. So take your time. 461 have already answered I gave you three letters in there. You still have some time to solve. Think about all the different types of furniture. You've got a lot of letters in there. 512 have solved and your time is up. The correct answer we are looking for is table. Table was the answer. We had 516 answer correctly. 24 were eliminated on that one. You guys are probably setting your Thanksgiving table right about now. If you're cooking this week though, you might use this herb. Your hint is herb. Maybe you don't cook, but you like to eat food seasoned with this herb. Cooked with this herb. I don't know, do you have an herb garden? Maybe you have an herb garden and you even grow this herb. I have no herb garden. I live in New York City. 463 have already answered correctly. Some of you are still solving the puzzle. We're only on puzzle two, you can get this one. Think about all the herbs there are. And your time is up. The correct answer we are looking for is basil. Basil was the correct answer. 499 of you answered correctly. Jared Silver was the fastest on that round. He must like basil with and mozzarella because that's the best way to eat basil, right? There is only one way to rock out and that is with a Maybe you play rock and roll? What music are you streaming these days, huh? Come on. I love rock and roll. It's not that song, but it's another rock and roll song. Ooh, you got three periods in there. We love punctuation here at HQ Words. You've got a B, you've got an H. Think about all the rock and roll songs there are. Those periods should really help. 342 have already solved, and the correct answer is born in the USA. The boss, don't let the boss down. 381 solved correctly, 120 were eliminated on that round. Wow, a lot of people aren't a fan of Bruce Springsteen, I guess. Oof, right now I am hosting HQ Words, but what if one day I had this sports occupation? Sports occupation. I won't, I definitely won't, but you never know, right? If you dream big enough, I think you can get any job, right? That's how it works. I play a few sports. Do you play sports? Five have solved the puzzle already. It's a little longer. You've got a couple B's in there. What sports do you play? Let us know in the comments. What's your favorite sport? Maybe you have this occupation. I don't know. Time is up.
Not the assistant, the head coach. 284 answered correctly. 120 were eliminated. D Lock 20 was the fastest. He's going to be in our starting lineup. Basketball head coach. When this game is over, let's celebrate with some food. Okay, who's hungry? We're going to eat a lot of food this weekend. Are you hungry for food or to win this game? Because both are super important right now. You've got an ampersand in there. Love that punctu punctuation. When I say ampersand, I think of like a beach. But we're talking about food. Four have answered already. You still have some time. You've got a B in there. Think about your favorite food. Maybe this is your favorite. And your time up. The correct answer is boxed mac and cheese. Oh my goodness, 66 answered correctly. 242 were eliminated on that one. Wow, you just got schooled on that last puzzle. That schooled more than half of you. Boxed mac and cheese, the only thing I cooked through college and adult life. We are halfway through the game. Halfway. Who are still with us? You are so close to winning this thing. Only five puzzles left, so keep doing what you're doing and we'll get to the prize. If you're on the East Coast, you probably have these rain accessories. Rain accessories. I doubt anyone in LA or Texas or Florida has these, but maybe if you're in Seattle, you have these rain accessories, right? Who else gets a lot of rain? Is it raining right now where you are? 63 have solved the puzzle. Side while you're playing? I'm sorry if it is. Your time is coming to an end. And the correct answer we are looking for is galoshes. Galoshes is the rain accessory. 104 answered correctly. 36 were eliminated on that last one. Sism pops. That's fun to say. Sism pops was the fastest for galoshes. Moving on, if I were traveling through time this week, maybe I'd visit this historical era. Think of all the. Or, or invention, right? Maybe it's from the I'll tell you one thing about this historical era. It's in the past. <laughs> happening right now? It's in the past. It's history. 94, 103 have already answered. We've got a few seconds left. And your time is up. The correct answer we are looking for is the Renaissance. The Renaissance period. 105 answered correctly. Maeve was first in that round. Maeve answered the fastest. Maybe Maeve's on her way to the Renaissance Fair. Great costumes during the Renaissance. Or as I call them. Deals this weekend. Maybe this clothing brand will have a sale. Clothing brand. Think of all of the brands you've ever heard of. Maybe you wear this brand. Maybe someone you know wears this brand. It could L's in there off the bat. 92 have already answered this puzzle. You've got a lot of letters in there. Blue Lemon, Namaste. 104 answered correctly. Five were eliminated on that last round. Lululemon. Who's going to yoga or who does yoga in their Lululemon pants? Okay, you only have two puzzles left. Nothing smells better than a house with a freshly baked good. Baked good. Or walking into a bakery. Basically, I'm trying to say the smell of baked goods coming out of an oven is just heaven to me. But what is this baked good that we are looking for? 51 have already solved the puzzle. You have a key in, a K in there. 86 of you have already solved. Left. The answer is key lime pie. Are you gonna have key lime pie at your Thanksgiving dinner? I don't know, I think it's pumpkin pie. 96 answered correctly. 10 were eliminated on that round. OP8971, or is it CP8971 was the fastest on that round. All right, the time has come. through nine puzzles and there is just one more to go. Take a deep breath. Here we go. What is this type of interactive tech? 
There are a lot of these today. It's almost 2019, tech is everywhere. You use tech and then think, what's interactive about it? Interactive tech. Six have solved the puzzle already. You've got a Y in there and an I for I believe in you. And your time is up. The final answer we're looking for is not real, not virtual reality, but augmented reality. Augmented reality is the final answer. And it looks like today we have 47 winners for HQ Words. Congratulations, you guys. Let's take a look at some of our winners today. In first place, we've got Stro42. Stro42 coming in first. In second place, we've got Justine Holek. Shout out to Justine Holek, you're in second place today. And in third place, Liz K94. and then cook some box mac and cheese for dinner while I blast born in the USA. I'm Anna Royceman. Join me back here tomorrow on Thanksgiving at 3 for an all new game. Tweet me pictures of your turkey dinner. I will see you tomorrow for some more HQ words. Have a great day.